Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Tomorrow's date, the 22nd of March 2020, Mother's Day here in the UK, is a time where we all give thanks and appreciation to those special figures in our life, our mums, and of course grandmothers, aunts, and of course all female figures in our life. Very often, I always think in close mind though, that why does it have to just be one day? It's a fantastic time to be able to appreciate and show the love and affection for our mums and our grandmothers and other female figures in our life. But for me, I always try to show appreciation every day, not just one day of the year. And it sounds a little bit strange, but whenever I leave the house, I always try, and of course I say this, but we all say things sometimes in the spur of the moment. And you know what? I've heard those things around me at times, but I can honestly say that my mum, I always put at the forefront of everything I do, that I try to make her proud. I try to make her feel, yeah, that's that's Bradley. That's my son. And you know what? I actually feel proud to call my mum my mum. And she's absolutely incredible. My nan as well, which is her mother. I absolutely feel so, so privileged and so proud for her also. And I have a really, really lovely grandma as well. And she's just lovely too, and she's in South Wales. And do you know what? All of my grandparents, I'm really proud of all of them. Um, my nan, I'm very, very close to. And my mum, we're just best friends. Absolutely best friends. And do you know what? My nan has Alzheimer's, but we are, and I, I say are, it's a little bit different now, the relationship, because my nan has Alzheimer's. But growing up and always, my nan has always been there. My, I'm really, really close to my father, but he was in the forces. So when he wasn't around, my nan always was as well. So I, su I suppose that's why I'm really, really close to my nan, which is my mum's mum. So me, my nan and my mum, best friends. And you know, really magical, really heart fuzzy, <laughs> heart fuzzy moment. And Mother's Day, a fantastic time to celebrate that. And when I say that, you know, I, I wouldn't have things any other way. I say I'm really, really privileged in this life because I had two mums, my nanny, and my mum. And you know what? That is magical. And Mother's Day is just there, how it makes me feel quite magical. Mother's Day is a time where we should show appreciation to those female characters in our lives. And it's a lovely time to be able to put all the things aside and just show that one figure in our life, which is always there and which we hope is always there, I should say. And that's because other, other people in my family, such as my cousins, um, we, we lost my aunt um, to cancer some years ago, and that always stands out in my mind, especially on days like Mother's Day. So um, bless them for what they must go through on that day. And it, it really does really does make you think, if that was ever to happen to my mum or to my nan, I honestly do not know what would happen. I think it would be like losing a part of me. In fact, I know it would be losing a part of me. So what I try to do is whenever I always try to think, and, and for my dad as well, because I'm very close to him more so, but of course Mother's Day is Mother's Day, and if I'm ever doing anything, I like to try and make my parents and my grandparents proud. And I don't ever give up on anything, and I always try to give everything my all to show that my parents, my mum and dad, my nan, that, yeah, I'm standing strong, I'm doing well, I'm pushing on with life in a career, and... Yeah, I'm doing it for me, but I'm also doing it for them to show that, do you know what, you've done this for me in life. I'm going to show you all of this is through you. So, yeah, really, really special. Mother's Day is a fantastic time to be able to do that little something special, which we don't necessarily always do. And of course, to treat that female figure in our life. And I say that because I imagine that some people watching this would have stepmums who they feel the same about or who are not even necessarily biologically their mum. But of course, that means absolutely nothing and does not take away from anything that that person is still at heart your mum and I always say that anybody can be a parent but not everybody can be a mum or a dad and that sounds strange that anybody can be a parent of course some people can't have children but most people who have children anybody can be have children but not everybody can be a parent and that I always stand by. And you know, what? I feel absolutely blessed by the parents and the grandparents I have. My mum, my dad, my nan mean absolutely well to me. And my other grandparents. I, I say that because I don't see them very much. They are there and I'm always on the phone. But I think you have grandparents who you 
naturally bond with straight away. And you know what? I love my I love my grandparents in South Wales, and I would absolutely do anything for me having an eye for them. But my nan has always sort of been that one who I am always there. Do you know what I mean? Con conjoined with, kind of, um, and with my mum too. So yeah, Mother's Day special, an amazing, amazing time to be able to show those ones we love the most how great they very are. So what I always do, shower them with gifts, my mum, my nan and my grandma. And and it's strange actually because my mum, what I actually usually tend to do is I tend to follow my mum around We when I go out with my mum. So if we go to the town centre or we go to shops or what have you or online, um, what I tend to do is be really, really sneaky and whatever I can see my mum sort of taking a liking to, whether it be a new outfit, whether it be perfume or or it can be a whole host of things like for example this year I've done I've done a bit of a, a change from shoes to um, to uh, shoes which mum liked these sort of and um, this blouse my mum liked this scarf um, and different products which she's likes and I and I like to try and put like a whole gift bag together with all these different gifts and I venture around one moment and I take notes of what she likes and um, things which she's seen and then come Mother's Day when she looks at it she's shocked with that I've taken notes of all these things and she's got them of course I always get custom how much it costs but I save for these things it's like with my nan I always even though bless her she has Alzheimer's I treat my nan as though my nan is still of course not got a problem and what I've done this year is I put a bag together of all different gifts um, and a lovely outfit for my nan, all these lovely things which my nan used to use, and I put it together as a lovely gift. And my other grandma, what I do is I, tr I try and find some different, because of course, um, being I'm not I'm not close uh, in location, uh, it's quite a, quite a distance between me and my grandma. I always put gifts which I can send. So for example, I do the whole, my, my grandma's very keen into gardening, so I, I do the plants, um, chocolate, sweets, biscuits, hampers, um, personal products, scarves, jewellery, that type of thing. So I, I really try to put a, a lovely package together of that. Um, and it's strange because I have, I have two grandmothers, my nan is the one who was always sort of really, really glamorous into hair, sort of makeup, fashion, very much my mum, bless her, whereas my grandma was very into sort of gardening her plants um, and very, very traditional. Um, of course, wouldn't change them absolutely for the world and magical, beautiful, beautiful female characters. Um, and yeah, isn't it strange? But yeah, Mother's Day is all about appreciating those characters in our lives and how, how magical if we get to do that. And of course, I really, really, truly believe that everyone should be treated as a gift because we just never know. And especially in these times, it's 2020, what's going on with this virus and everything this year is just changing day upon day. So I always say try to hold the ones we love and cherish the most close and as close as you possibly can be and tell them how much you mean because you just never know what's going to happen and that's what I do um, and yeah I spoil people love to spoil people of course some people can't but you know what? if you can't you can always make that person's day special you can make your mum your grandma your your nana whatever you call them your stepmother or or even if you call them by name do you know I've actually met somebody who calls their real mum by their name and I think to myself wow how extraordinary um but yeah, even if you if you if you don't have the ability to feasibly do loads and loads of gifts, which of course, after all, gifts aren't everything, do that something special. Perhaps put a memory together. And when I say that, is it something from years and years ago, which you found out, perhaps present it beautifully or do something special by perhaps making that beautiful meal for them or taking the time if you don't really spend that time with your mum very often or if you work away or if location is, uh, is a thing where you're not very close in location or miles apart perhaps do a surprise how magical would that be but what I do know is that for my channel which is all about the bumpy road of life the good and bad I had to capture uh, something sort of for my for my as I call it my sort of virtual journal about Mother's Day and my mum is so very very special and I love her with all my heart and my nan is so so special I love her with all my heart and my grandma I absolutely love as well and I love her with all my heart too very different people, but absolutely amazing, beautiful figures and love them through and through and through and would move heaven and earth for them. Um, so, yeah, that was Mother's Day tomorrow. Really, really looking forward to it. Cannot wait to see my mum's face with the gifts which I bought her. And my nan, bless her, I can't wait and spend some time with her. And my grandma, I will be phoning 
and I always love to hear the shock sort of what I've bought and sort of my imagination. <laughs> it's lovely. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, absolutely. Um, so yeah, Mother's Day, really, really special. Love my mum, love my nanny, and love my grandma. So yeah, strange, isn't it? Strange what it makes us, even as I'm 26 and I feel about 10 when I talk about my mum and my nan. And, and I love my grandma. So, um, so yeah, strange, isn't it? Really, really funny. Always funny. I think no matter how old you get, you are never, ever too old for a hug from your mum or your nan or your grandma or your nana, whatever you call them. But, but yeah, strange, isn't it? I think you always have one grandparent which you fall closer to, but you love them both the same. But you always have one which you feel closer to. And your mum is just your mum, absolutely incredible. My mum and my nan are absolutely copies of each other and just incredible people. But yeah, funny isn't it what it makes you do? Always makes you feel quite fuzzy and very like I'm a small child inside. But yeah, strange. Okay, so that was my... Mother's Day clip to capture on my channel. Mother's Day is so, so special. And hopefully you make your Mother's Day for your mum or your aunt or your... And you know, I have some amazing... I love my auntie. I have an, I have an auntie Wendy who I think the world of. An absolutely lovely, lovely character. An absolutely beautiful person. But yeah, all these female characters in our life should be cherished. Mother's Day. Tomorrow. It's not too late. Make it special. You will, will thank your lucky stars that you were able to do it honestly a beautiful thing to be able to do so i hope you and your mum or your nan or your grandma or whoever have an amazing mother's day if you're watching this thanks very much for watching my channel and until next time i'll be enjoying mother's day with my nan and my mum tomorrow and hopefully in the times we live in hopefully everybody stays fit well and healthy you know the virus we're talking about Let's not let it put a dark cloud over Mother's Day for this 2020 Mother's Day. Okay, thanks very much for watching and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.